Well, that was a thing. Oh, God. Ah! Okay, uh, auto jump. I was trying to. I thought I would have to stop on a tree, but uh, that was not the case at all. Wait, am I going the right direction? <laughs> I think I'm going backwards right now. No, I am going the right direction, apparently. Constantly claiming the life, jeez. Also going right through those uh, planks. <laughs> Hello? Camera angle has been kind of overused. Oh, another dream? When I see those creatures uh, in the distance, I think I'm in a dream. Not to mention the salt. The salt is still very real. Yeah, I think I'm starting to understand what uh, I think a lot of people would hate about playing this game. Is that the way you control your character is not correspondent to the camera angle that you've got. So I can do what I want? Is that gonna actually work in gameplay or is it just uh, how it is in uh, the, the story? Ooh, gotta wait for the lightning. I'm not gonna get this uh, thing right here. It's a triangle. Damn it, there has to be a light source somewhere that I missed. So I completed part of that insignia or something? Apparently. So can I take like a torch with me or something? Yes I can! Oh wow! <laughs> a candle. Should have done that from the very beginning. But because I saw the light and I thought, well maybe I'm supposed to just uh, figure things out in the dark. Hmm? I do so adore lighting torches. I'll say that right now. Okay, so I can hold the candle while holding the can. <laughs> yeah, hold the candle while holding the candle. One more triangle left. So, yeah. <laughs> 
First, I'm lighting all the torches because that's what I want to do. Let's go. Candle again. Ah, here we go. Can go here now. Just gotta avoid these two monsters. Whoa. Should I really call them monsters? Maybe they're the good guys. Hmm? Secretly the good guys. Obviously they're not representative of the good guys right now. Can't take any more candles. So my dad is literally Satan. I, I was kind of suspicious of the horns at first, but uh, now I, I think it's trying to tell me that. Maybe. I have no idea. Still not quite understanding what's going on in this game's plot. But it's interesting because of that, because you have to figure it out. Also, it's winter now. I'm freezing. I'm freezing to death. God damn it. Urgh. Urgh, gotta drop down. Oof. Yeah, I think if I had just stood there, I would have frozen to death. If you get close to the fire. Yeah, I think I'm fine now. Still, I think if I had just stood there, I, I would have frozen to death. Please do not extinguish fire. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it was the candle. It was the, c the contract itself that I was using as a torch. Is the tree growing again? I think so. Can't do anything right now. Here and here we go. We're gonna continue. Yep, to the next floor. Please fasten your seat belts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride.
Okay, it keeps going up and up and up. Meantime, I'm gonna go over here. Which I cannot because there's nothing over there. What? Was that intentional? I don't think it was. Unfortunately, my torch is out now. And I'm gonna freeze to death. Oof. I almost froze to death again. Goodness gracious. Gotta be careful, Moonlight Child. Er, Moon Child. <laughs> Moonlight Child. Oh, what is going on here? Fire! Damn it. There we go. Now I gotta hurry. Yeah, the fire doesn't last forever. Okay, so if the fire is uh, gone, I have a like a limited amount of time before I, uh, you know, die and <laughs> am reborn once again. The fact that your character actually slows down as you uh, slowly freeze to death doesn't help, either. You know what? This would be really cool as a cutscene, you know, as a transition. But uh, the lighting isn't as strong as it should be. It could be just the limits of this being an indie game, but... The lighting should have made it so that the char your character model is, like, completely dark. As you reach the top or something. This is not... Damn it, I froze to death. Or... Lit the whole thing on fire? Yeah, now I froze to death. Great. That's what happens. I do enjoy the fact that uh, dying is part of the game. It's actually in intentional that you can fail. Also, that's where the fire was. Oh, I, I went to the wrong place. I was supposed to jump left first. Oh, and that's what was supposed to happen. Okay. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Oof. Almost didn't make it. This camera angle, man, just keeps being used over and over and over. Uh, another dream? 
think so. No candles? Or... Nope, no candles. No contract, no candles, no nothing. Here, men must fall so that stars can rise. Unlike me, sold or fool, and found his soul of light. I see eyes, sun and moon together. Join him against the dragon. I thought he was with the dragon. Together you will fight as one. And when the shadow falls, which is good, right? Church it to your heart. Yeah, it's good in this game. Because in that moment, I have to action and fall. Oh well. I was trying to utter things this time. Like moving to the left or jumping to the left or stuff like that. It wouldn't let me. Basically it was just a dramatic moment where you had to uh, push the character into doing the next thing, you know? Time will know defeat. Yay. Is the tree fully grown? Well, it's kind of dead right now, though. How come I've got uh, tattoos now, though? Or have I always had them? I don't know. Hey, it's the dragon. Give me back my sword, please. Ah! Okay, I got the sword. That's the important part. No, you want to have another go, do you? Oh, it's Soldor. Hi! So I have to protect him. Okay, so he protects me from the wind, while I will protect him from the uh, breath. Yep. Yay. Me and you, Soldor. Actually, no, maybe I was just supposed to be behind Soldor. Oh, we're gonna have to jump here. I have no idea. Oh no, this! It's too bad I can't move it while I'm on the side. Damn it! That was not supposed to happen. I need to be near him so he doesn't get petrified. Okay. I, I just want to understand that. You have to understand the risks, because it looks like he can protect himself, but that's not quite the case now.
gotta be careful. Wow, that was a beautiful transition right there. Let's go. I was supposed to move that platform. That's what I'm trying to do, but it's not working. I need to do something here. I'm not sure what, though. Oh, this! Been a while to figure out because the sword seemed to be effective last time. Yeah, it is. It's kind of all over the place how effective the sword is going to be. Oh, we're helping protect you. Hey, I, I was right next to him. Ah, because I wasn't close enough. Yeah, I'm being pushed right now. Yeah, this time I protect them. Just have to push it from the other side. Yeah. So, even at this angle, when I'm holding on to this thing, I won't be pushed away. Good. I'm just scared when he does his breath attack because uh, when, when uh, Soldor got hit by it, even though I was like right next to him, it's kind of like uh, the bad kind of glitch, you know, not the funny ha ha kind. Okay, let's go. Um, still not done? Of course not. Yeah, 
Yay, that totally killed it. <laughs> so are you going to stab me now? Well, it's a good thing I can always uh, be reborn. Hmm? Such as here. Oh, cool. I actually, we actually killed it. Split in half. Ooh. Uh, tragically, I think Soul Door made his end. Yeah. Uh, change the world. Wait, am I de aging? Apparently. This is like CGI for this game. Because it's completely different uh, looks wise. It's like moving images, you know, superimposed over each other. But it's it's used to great effect. Okay, so that's why I'm called Moonchild, because I literally become a solar eclipse that covers the sun. And the sun turns into the moon or something. What? No, I'm okay. I turned into a moon because, yeah, I was covering the sun. But what is the meaning? <laughs> I don't quite understand. Mm hmm. Wait, that's it? Okay, a, a little short and expected, but I thought I was only like half done with the game. Maybe I was. Maybe I. Maybe there's another ending or another path I could have taken. Oh well. Still, I, I enjoyed the experience for what it is. A little, as I said, a little short, but uh, I thought it was satisfying. Even if I didn't quite understand immediately, I'm sure if I look uh, it like over, like re uh, watch it myself, I'll understand it a bit better. The thing about indie games like this is that you shouldn't be looking for, like, uh, uh, something that would satisfy your gameplay needs. Especially games like these are more story-centric, which is what I was expecting, even though I thought it was a platformer, and it kind of was. Could have definitely used some touch-ups in uh, terms of graphics because of uh, all the weird oddities and stuff. But I, I think it was a fine experience. Mostly... In terms of uh, making things look weird. Admittedly, though, I was hoping that, uh, like, the way it would look would be more like the way it's, uh, like, box art, quote unquote, looks. Maybe it should have been complete 2D, but that would have been way too much work for a small indie team. Well, maybe not. Maybe it was mostly pixels, but even pixels are difficult to do. And if it was pixels, it wouldn't be anything like how it looks like uh, in his box art. I keep calling it box art. I should just call it title art. It make more sense. But the entire reason I wanted to play this game is because it reminded me of when I was young and how if I wanted to uh, like play a game, I had to decide basically based on its box art. Look at Tetra Stack, and I'm like, oh, that looks neat. There's no Yoshi on it, but uh, I want to play a game like that with the fallen blocks that you have to destroy by pairing three of them together of the same type or something like that. But whatever the case, uh, 
That was torn, I think. Hope you've all enjoyed this uh, mini series and hope you all have a very nice day. Next time, probably just a bunch of Splatoon 2 stuff because it's going to be out by the time this video goes up. Or it's already out by the time this video goes up. Hmm. So a little more. Kind of neat, this credit sequence. Hi. What you doing, buddy? That it? Hmm? Apparently not. Maybe it was completely pointless for me to say, uh, have a nice day everyone. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and stuff. But maybe there's a new game plus that leads to a different path or something. Or maybe I should just plant a damn seed. Probably should. <laughs> okay. In you go, my little friend. Cycle repeats without end. Only I can change the path of fate. Hmm, ominous. You know what? If anyone knows anything about this game, Please say so in the comment section below, if there's anything more to do. Because I'm going to have to drop it for now to focus on like getting a couple of other videos out before Splatoon 2 takes over my channel. Uh, well, Splatoon General takes over my channel once again. Hell, there's still some Splatoon videos I haven't, like, finished. And god damn. I think there is more to this game. It'll be for later. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and all of it this day. Bye-bye!